Today we're going to learn how to create a shape like a cycle with shaders and how to add details on the edges with a noise texture. So let's see it. So let's delete everything, go to add, mesh, and let's create a plane. Let's select this view, open this tab, make it bigger. I'm going to hide the background lines. And really important, let's select this view to see the materials. And now here, let's select Shade Editor. Let's press N to hide this, and let's create a new material. Let's delete this one, because we're going to use the minimum nodes. So let's start creating a shape with a gradient texture. Let's go into here, and let's select a spherical, because we want a circle shape. However, now it's being created from this corner. And we don't want that, we want from the center. So let's select this and press Ctrl T to add these two nodes. And now here, if you want this to be created from the center, you need to select Object instead of Generated. So now we have a perfect circular shape in this plane. Now to add contrast, let's add Color RAM. And here if you want, if we push the black, we are adding more black, so the shape is smaller. You can push it, or you can do it in the other side, so we are adding more white. And we have less transition. And if you want a really contrast edges, then here select constant. And now move this, and as you can see, we have a perfect circular shape without transition. Okay, I'm going to leave it like that. And now what I want is to add detail in the edges. So how we can do that? To do this, we're going to use a noise texture. But now the question is, where we connect this? Maybe the first thing you would think is to add here a mixed color. So you can mix two colors. For example, this texture and this one. So here, if we select zero, we are showing this texture, what is connected in A. And if we select one, we are showing what is connected in one, so this noise texture. Let's add more contrast with color RAM. However, as you can see, we are not getting the edges with this detail. We can make this smaller if you want. So maybe you are thinking, okay, let's play with the blend modes and let's try to see if this works. Okay, now we have like a mask, as you can see, but it's not what we want. We're gonna start playing and see if something works. However, as you can see, we don't get the result that we want. So as you can see, it's not the way to do it like that. However, we have to use this to note. So how we can do that? The key is to connect this before this gradient. And now connect the noise here. And now it's working, as you can see. By the way, really important, you have to select multiply. This is the most important thing. Multiply. Because if you don't select multiply, you will notice, for example, that it's moving in other directions when we play with this. As you can see, is a weird thing. So select multiply. And now, thanks to this, we can add more detail or less. So if it's in zero, we are not using this. And if we increment this number, the factor, we are saying use a bit this noise in the edges. And more you increase, more we see the noise texture. So I recommend you to be a value between 0.1. 0.3, whatever you want. I'm going to leave it something like that. And this is how we add detail in the edges of a gradient. Remember, before the gradient, we add the mixed color in multiply and we use a noise texture. Another trick if you want to learn something new. If we add here a math node, we can increase or decrease this shape. So we can create this animation. We start in black and then we increase this value. And we can do this animation. However, as you can see, when we are really close to these corners, it do like a little jump. Boop. So to avoid this, we have to do something. 
instead of using object, we're going to use UV. So when we use UV, it's being created from here. So we need to move the gradient. Look, I'm going to select here, showing only this. So as you can see, when we use UV, it's being created from this corner. So to move this gradient, this cycle in the middle, we need to play with X and Y. So here we need to add minus 0 0.5. And here the same, minus 0 0.5. So now I'm going to show everything. If we play with that, as you can see now, in the corners, we don't have this jump. Look, it's more natural instead of using object. So if you want to do this animation, remember to use UV and animate this value. And if you have problems when you want to play with this, then use object and it's okay. By the way, if you want to add more detail, remember you have here the next texture and you can increase this. You can play with the detail, with this, as you can see, with distortion. There is so many options to play with the edges of this shape. So I recommend you to play until you get the values that you want. So as you can see, it's really easy to create this. Always use a mixed color in multiply before the gradient, connected with a nice texture. If you like this video, give a like, and I recommend you to subscribe, because in the next tutorials, we're going to learn how to create these animations. So if you want to miss these tutorials, I recommend you to subscribe, and see you in the next video.